The sun is shining through our crittle windows in our council flat Bevin Court in Islington, which is where we started our married life in 1960. One day my husband said to me, don't move. The green of your jumper looks so much greener because I see it against the red chair. And in art, that is known as a complementary contrast. It is a painting of sunlight. He always used to say, take a comfortable pose, but of course it is impossible as a model ever to have a comfortable pose, especially as every picture would take several hours. Now the first thing about this picture is it was painted without a sketch in one go. And you will see it has what is known as impasto, quite sort of thick paint scattered all over. And Cyril was not the kind of portrait painter who used little polite, expensive sable brushes. He used almost decorator style brushes so that he could load the paint very, very quickly and cover a whole area like this in two or three hours. Now the advantage of that kind of painting is that it has a sort of liveliness. Although it is painted 60 years ago, you feel that that figure, she is alive. She's very, very strong and alive. It's a picture of sunlight hitting beautiful pink roses. And if you really want to see it, half squeeze your eyes and squint and you will see it all come to life. And these pictures sometimes finish up in an auction. And I'd seen this picture and I recognized it and I bought it at auction. And when I got it home, it had a huge big hole in it. It was big enough to put a fist through. All the money that we make on paintings, we spend on restoring Cyril's pictures. And I think it's well worth it because I would like other generations after me to be able to see them and realize what Cyril had done in his lifetime.